I'm Dave Anderson with Genesis. I'm the VP of architecture uh, for the Engage product line. Genesis is a company that, that uh, provides uh, customer experience and contact center solutions. And one of the important things that we're focusing on is uh, one of the most powerful human abilities is to connect with each other via empathy. Empathy means that you first listen and try to understand someone before you act. We also learn from every interaction for future interactions, but empathy doesn't just make us human, but it also provides tremendous business value. Empathy drives trust and trust drives loyalty. In fact, loyalty leaders grow revenue two and a half times faster than their peers. That's why we have made it the purpose of Genesis to deliver the power of empathy to every single experience. This purpose is highly relevant to our customers. It covers two types of experiences. The experiences our customers offer to their customers and employees through our solutions and the experiences we provide to our customers and partners directly. So with that purpose, it raises the question as to how do you scale? How do you implement empathy? And so with that vision and direction, we implement empathy through multiple integrated capabilities to provide empathy at scale. We have a rich set of voice and digital channels allowing us to engage at the right time on the right channels with the right actions. This requires omni-channel capabilities that include routing and integrated employee desktops so that we provide context for those interactions across uh, the experience. Our, we then have, in addition to the channels, we have to uh, provide capabilities for the workforce that's going to handle those experiences and interactions with customers so that we need to make sure that we have highly qualified workforces to handle them, to manage the performance of those people helping them, and to help them do their business with, our, with their customers better. Uh, but by providing them, you know, the necessary information and feedback on how they're handling the experience with their customers. To help them do this, we also have, we have our AI, which is designed to orchestrate these experiences with customers and employees. So this AI capability, you know, collects information from various sources, both internal and external and helps determine using AI algorithms what the best action is to either route an interaction or decide how to assist an agent uh, with an interaction and to improve, thereby improving um, the experience and learning from those, those existing interactions to improve future experiences. And finally, and maybe the most important is, you know, the data that we have to collect um, from, you know, from the customer's environment and from other partners uh, to make that experience uh, rich and empathetic um, and feed our AI platform. And as you can see, we have a very strong uh, set of partners where we integrate into uh, those various solutions to collect that data and utilize it in the processing of experiences of interactions to create uh, a better experience. We are also a global leader in this space um, for, for customer experience and, and contact centers. 
We have over 30 years of leadership. Uh, we, we have 55 of the top 100 companies in the, in the world. We process, you know, 70 billion interactions a year with our platforms. We are deployed in over 100 countries around the world. We have, you know, 1,600 plus partners which work with us and, and integrate with us uh, to, to provide this solution to our customers. We're also a very innovative company. We've been an innovation leader for for most of our our existence. As you can see from the first capabilities of contact centers with screen pops all the way to all the AI powered contact centers driving empathy and loyalty for customers. We're also been recognized uh, by all by the analyst as as a leader in the top quadrant of 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 this of this industry. So let's get into the architecture where we are using Redis uh, extensively, and that is on the Engage on Azure platform. So let's now take this strategy that we have for uh, enterprise as a service um, and, and focus it in on our engage on Azure implementation of that strategy. This solution is a Kubernetes first platform. It, it utilizes Kubernetes uh, capabilities to, to provide a highly reliable and secure and scalable platform. We also utilize other cloud services such as Redis, you know, other Azure services such as their Postgres or WAF capabilities. We also utilize Azure's, you know, networking capabilities to allow our customers choice on how they connect not only data traffic, but voice traffic uh, into the platform. It also allows us to provide, you know, a highly scalable architecture um, and a highly secure architecture by utilizing, you know, its capabilities, Azure's capabilities of multiple AZs and, and regions. So let's talk about how Redis has, has benefited the, the Engage on Azure solution. First is functionality. We utilize Redis for streaming and for in-memory data uh, set storage and access. We also need it for performance capabilities. Uh, we, we process tens of thousands of events per second through the platform. And we also utilize it, have very big data sets that we have to maintain in real time, uh, multi gigabit data sets. Uh, because it is a voice related platform and because we are dealing with some of the largest enterprise, enterprise customers uh, in the world, um, we have to have a highly reliable solution um, and we ut utilize Redis's uh, multi-AZ capability, as well as you know its its great SLA uh, for for resiliency. Uh, as far as scale goes, we use 16 clusters per region, um, and we're targeting to have a global solution with uh, six plus regions. Uh, we utilize it for security. We have to be you know because it is big. Uh, enterprise customers, we have to have PCI compliance, HIPAA compliance, uh, SOC 2, uh, and so on. So we utilize the encryption, encryption capabilities, authentication capabilities, and so on of the Redis platform. And then to help us focus more on our business uh, functionality, we utilize their managed uh, solution um, from Azure and we have it fully automated into our pipelines. So it makes it easier to uh, manage and control the platform. Um, just to take you into a couple of detailed use cases, uh, we use it for real-time event streaming uh, for voice and routing uh, microservices that we have. 
this is where, you know, we have to process events and tens of thousands of events in, in near real, in near real time. Uh, and it has to be extremely highly reliable to maintain those voice calls as they're being processed. In addition, we utilize it for the state management of, of those voice calls, as well as the agent uh, states. So when we're dealing with, you know, 200,000 uh, uh, calls, concurrent calls, or, you know, 50,000 agents, we have to be able to, you know, maintain that at, at near real time uh, for our services to be responsive. 